Imagine, let alone see it. Tonight, First Lord 4 is bringing you newly released video. It shows a driver running a red light in downtown St. Louis, ultimately killing a mother and daughter. While we're not going to show you the impact, we do want to warn you the video is very hard to watch. First Lord 4 investigator Susan O'Corey is digging through new questions being brought about how the case is being handled. The family tells us they're devastated by what happened here and they want answers and accountability. We know the crash was captured on this police crime camera video. And what's more, investigators say the driver had been speeding for blocks, going over 70 miles an hour, even passing right by city police headquarters, but you can see a block away. Mother and daughter walk together, leaving the Drake concert when a Jeep flashes by. We're pausing the video as 42-year-old Letitia Bruchero, known to many as Letty, and her 21-year-old daughter Alyssa Cordova are hit, throwing them down the street. Both died. That video is terrifying. First Alert 4 investigates got this clip from a source. It's raising questions about the Valentine's Day crash in downtown St. Louis. Video shows mother and daughter crossing the intersection of 18th and Olive Streets. The driver, who police say is 22-year-old Monty Henderson, runs a red, going so fast you can barely see the Jeep before the video has to be paused. Henderson is currently walking free on a bond that cost him $20,000. The judge feels like this individual is going to show up at their court date. Then the bond, as long as it's paid, the driver goes free. Bond is up to the judge. In this case, Judge Annette Llewellyn. First Alert 4 investigates asked prosecutors if they objected to bond. A spokeswoman said they weren't at the hearing where it was set, which she called typical. Is that typical? For serious crimes, no. Uh, if this was murder, I'm pretty sure they would have been there. But for minor violations, traffic infractions, uh, probably not. Henderson faces two counts of involuntary manslaughter. It's a felony, but lesser charge compared to murder. It goes to what he was thinking. If he premeditated, it's murder one. If he's just recklessly driving, which is probably what he was doing, didn't think he was going to hit anybody, didn't really care, that's manslaughter. Prosecutors say they can't talk about why they picked those charges because it's a pending case. In court records, police say Henderson sped for blocks, running multiple red lights and topping 70 miles an hour, double the limit on most of the street. Somebody took them from us. We'll never have them back. Family telling First Alert 4 the day after the crash, they want answers. They love life. They love doing things. They love being out. They love being surrounded by people and just having a good time. The crash highlights a long running problem in the city. People who are running red lights are a real menace and a constant concern. This time costing a mother and daughter their lives. The family tells us they have a lot of questions about how this driver is currently out on bond. We know he has another hearing set for Tuesday, something we'll continue to follow. In downtown St. Louis, Susan Alcori, First Alert 4 Investigates. The driver is being represented by local defense lawyer Scott Rosenblum. We have reached out to him at this point tonight, are waiting to hear back. We do know both police and the courts, though, have declined to comment. A petition with more than 300 signatures is being shared online right now, calling for that driver to have his bond revoked. Also